Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today what we'll be looking at is a heat map, hotspots of Bigfoot sightings across North America. These are Bigfoot sightings reported by individuals to the BFRO, the Bigfoot Research Organization, and we've uh, got them brought into ArcGIS and uh, we have um, a, vid a video on how you can access that software for $100 a year if you're interested in learning about that. Maybe you're a student or a retired person and uh, you can uh, get that for $100 a year. Not just this program, but many other applications for geographic information systems. Uh, please like the channel and uh, subscribe to the channel if you uh, enjoy these videos. We'll continue on um, bit by bit and uh, previously in the last video I had shown how to do how to create uh, hot, uh, heat maps and uh, you can go back and have a look at that video if you'd like but again we'll just focus in on the Bigfoot sightings and as you can see we've we've got a heat map here and basically what it is it's uh, a hot spots map and in the light blue would be the fringe areas with the lower concentrations and then it would be purple and then red and then the highest concentrations would be in yellow the highest concentrations of Bigfoot sightings and report. So we'll start off in Ohio and uh, we'll, we'll look through the United States. We won't rush but uh, we'll take our time. And as you can see the hotspots map gets regenerated, recalculated as we zoom in and south of Cleveland just north of Akron, Ohio we have a hotspot. Then there's another one west of Canton, Ohio and south of Canton, Ohio one north of Dayton, east of Springfield, several north of Columbus and Delaware. And we've looked at some of these uh, individual sightings in previous videos, if you'd like to go back and have a look at them. And we actually investigated some of the report from the BFRO. And uh, they're, they're quite interesting, some of the witness accounts. So we did look in down here in uh, Wayne National Forest. Uh, we looked at some of the accounts there, just on the, on the border with uh, West Virginia. And in West, West Virginia, there's a hot spot in the east, eastern portion of the state. And in New York, it's just, uh, just out on the outskirts of New York City, there's a hot spot there. In Florida, we have a, a hot spot between Jacksonville in Orlando, so north of Orlando and south of Jacksonville, just north of the Everglades, in and around the Big Cypress National Park or National Preserve. And we looked at Polk County in uh, Florida for individual sightings. If you'd like to look at that video, so there's uh, a cluster south of Lakeland. But the main ones are north of Orlando and south of Jacksonville. We have a cluster on the border of Florida and Alabama. If you're interested in squatching, maybe these are the places that you would go to, especially if you can find like a national park or a national forest that you can go hiking in. Of course, you do that at your own risk, but if you enjoy hiking and being in the outdoors, why not go out? There's a hot spot here by Chattahoochee National Forest, a hot spot just outside Ackworth and south of Rome, which is basically just uh, west of Atlanta. And in Texas, we have a hot spot north of Houston. We've looked at individual sightings in the Sam Houston National Forest area along and then along the Trinity River. We've looked at individual sightings there and then sightings along the Big Thicket National Preserve. We've uh, dealt with those if you'd like to go back and have a look at those videos. And in northern Texas we have some uh, clusters south of Tyler and south of Longview. Louisiana just north of Alexandria. Maybe south of Little Rock and the Grace State Park. In Oklahoma you're looking at south of Fort Smith, just on the border, in Kansas, south of Topeka, south of Kansas City, Illinois, all and around Springfield and St. Louis, west of Peoria, south of Chicago, south of Aurora, in Michigan, you're looking at northern Michigan, 
south of Traverse City, east of East Lake, and in and around the Na uh, Huron National Forest, north of Grand Rapids, north of Mount Pleasant, in Wisconsin. You look at the northern part of the state, south of Ottawa National Forest. In Arizona, you have a hot spot north of Phoenix, east of Tucson, in New Mexico. You have a hot spot just north of Lincoln National Forest. And then on the border with Arizona and Colorado. And in Colorado, west of Colorado Springs, in and around the White River National Forest. In San Is Isabel National Forest. In Utah, you'd be looking at east of Salt Lake City. In California, east of Sacramento, in the Stanislaus Na National Forest, and the Sierra National Forest, and the Sierra Mountains, which is well known and very famous for Bigfoot uh, sightings and also Bigfoot audio recordings. North of Redding in the Redwood National Park and then on the border with Oregon. In Oregon you're looking at south of Grant Pass in the Oregon Caves National Monument north of Brookings on the coast and around some national forests in Oregon in the Mount Hood area east of Portland and then up into uh, south of Seattle east of Olympus and to, yeah, south of Tacoma very famous uh, studies have been done in and around Olympus on Sasquatch and then up into BC and Vancouver Island. In uh, Idaho you're looking at north of Boise. And uh, that's what I've, these are just the hot spots that I've covered. Um, obviously I didn't cover them all and if you'd like to for me to cover uh, a particular state or part of a state please let me know. This was uh, just to demonstrate the uh, heat map feature in ArcGIS Pro. And again, um, if, you, if you enjoy these videos, please uh, like them and subscribe to the channel and uh, have a look at some of the previous videos um, that uh, cover GIS and Bigfoot.